All right, praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You're looking at a very familiar area, Minister Paul, Northern California, 429-2013. Um, wow, a lot to say, let me just go right into it. Uh, in August 30th, uh, through September 4th, actually I believe it was August 29th through September 4th, 2012, I went down to Anaheim for a conference. I ended up leaving it early and I had a vision coming back um, of an earthquake in California that started a tsunami that toppled all these power lines. Um, I made a video about it. Um, it, the power grid had went out. We didn't have any power, and so I just it's ten ten. Look, I wanted to. Uh, there's the date and time and stuff. Uh, while I was down there, my wife had a dream, and I remember in my journal. See if we can get to my journal. Uh, right here. In my journal, it's personal, so I just can't open up and show the whole world. It has family stuff in it and special prayer requests. But I can assure you that on 429, uh, on a, I believe it was September 1st, I checked into the hotel a day early for a four-day conference. Um, my wife called, called me and was very excited over a dream she had now. A lot of people they don't remember their dreams. You know, I, I don't remember I'm be I don't remember a single dream last night. I don't remember a single dream the night before. You know, and you can look at this two different ways. You can look at this from a psychology point of view. I took several years of psychology. I actually found it fascinating, you know, when I was in high school and college. Uh, about you know rim three rapid eye movement and you know, you only dream in, in rim three but um, I, I found it fascinating and so you can't remember them you only dream like when you're in the deepest level of sleep which is called REM 3 rapid eye movement but I don't want to get off into all that but there's a reason you know why we can't remember our dreams because we're sleeping so deeply but in the kingdom of God everybody say that's man's books you know in the kingdom of God we live off the holy word God's written word. It's different. It, he, he gives people the gifts of dreams from him. They're prophetic dreams. And they're prophetic visions. And so my wife only being able to recall four dreams since last summer is actually quite normal. Believe it or not. Me... Being, me having, I think, I don't know, 50 dreams on here is abnormal according to the world standards. Um, but that's because it's a gift of God. And, uh, and I thank God for it. It's, it's a gift that, is, that uh, God has used mightily in my life. And um, I just thank him for it. it it's part of my calling. It, it's... Without going too deep into it, just throw, throw out all of your books on science and psychology and stuff. And remember, the Bible wasn't written as a science book. It was written as a living book. We're talking about dreams and visions. And, and this is for new subscribers that may not understand um, dreams and visions. It's recorded all throughout the Bible that men and women of God... Old Testament and New Testament had dreams and visions. Like when, for example, the, the last chapter of the book, the Revelation, is all one big revelation. He's having a vision and he's told to record it. The whole book. Peter, when he was sitting up on his roof, he had a vision. They didn't stop under the law and the prophets of the Old Testament. They've never stopped. Nobody can ever show me a verse in the Bible that says that these gifts that God are giving us uh, stop. People may not use them, but that didn't mean they stop. God is not a, a 
a God that just revokes his gifts. Matter of fact, the Bible says his gifts are irrevocable. There, addressing that. She calls me, I'm down in Anaheim. And she's all excited because she's had this dream. And I journaled it so I know that I'm not misspeaking in any part because, you know, if any part of the dream became uh, fuzzy to her or anything, I recorded it in real time as she gave it to me over the phone. Does that make sense? So in her dream, uh, about nine months ago, I guess, yeah, nine months ago, she, uh, and we'll get to this Damascus thing in, in, a, in a minute, but this, this, this dream she had, and why I mentioned all that is because somehow I think it's related. It's the, today's date. Um, she ran out in the backyard and she saw all these fallen angels. Let's look at it. Well, we'll go to the next map. She saw all these fallen angels. And um, there's another Damascus. And they were coming down to earth to attack this city that we live in. And she ran out and she began to say exactly this. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. See, now, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos or not, but my wife is very soft-spoken. And, um... But, but when, it, when, when it came to uh, rebuking those demons, there was, it was, she was operating under the authority and power and the anointing of, of Christ, our Messiah. And um, so, she re so there be, it, it kind of started this war. There was holy angels and they began to fight these uh, fallen angels slash demons. It bother me as I poke around. This is what I look at. A dam. I just saw something that said dam road. Is there a dam in here? And I'm not cussing. I mean the other kind of dam. That is a dam. My goodness. You know, we have a dam here that I'm consuming. Matter of fact, when I was in the industry. Brighton Dam. There is a dam road. That just don't even sound right, does it? That damn road. You go down that damn road. That, I'm not trying to poke fun. I just, I'm amazed at what God shows me. You know, I've been staring at this map by the wayside. Go down the damn road and don't fall by the wayside. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not making light of the situation. We have a dam, the Folsom Dam here. When, when I was in the industry... It was one of the watch spots that a terrorist could hit, like the Hoover Dam. There are certain air, uh, watch spots um, that, that, that you know, if a terrorist was going to hit anything, it, it, would, it would be that, you know. And I remember the dam is like one in the top uh, four. And I'm not going to go into like a bunch of stuff that people may already know. So she's rebuking these demons and... Long story short is this fight breaks out and the next thing you know she's staring up at this beautiful clear sky and it's all blue and, and she says God would you give me a sign that you love me and, he, and this hand comes out of the sky hallelujah I feel the Holy Spirit right now and he starts writing in the clouds this is amazing to me he writes a four, and then he writes a dash. Now, I said, was it a dash or a dot? I was real specific about this, like a dash sideways or a dot. And she said it was like Hebrew cursive. And after reviewing this for nine months, we've had time to understand that it's actually a symbol. Have you ever seen a Hebrew line? It kind of goes up, and then it's just a line across, and then it kind of flips up. To the you know like a, a Hebrew uh, I, I I bet you anything if, if I showed her a bunch of I just just came to me if I showed her a bunch of Hebrew uh, 
lines. Uh, it may be a word. We'll see. So it was that. It was the four, and then that Hebrew cursive e slash is what she calls it, or dash. A Hebrew cursive dash, and then the number 29. Four, four, dash 29. And then she woke up, and that was the end of the dream. Now remember, that this only, you know, she doesn't have a lot of dreams. So, that dream has stuck with me for a long time. Matter of fact, I had to remind it to her as we started getting towards the end of April. Remember, you had a dream about 429? It may not even be a date. Her, her question was, first, first, what was the beginning of the dream? Was a battle in the sky. Just remember that. And the, the second dream, because dreams can be symbolic, the second dream was for Hebrew cursive 29. I'm not saying that's today, but this is how I woke up today. Um, at 6.12 a.m., exactly, I knew because I was tired and I'd only slept four hours and I was open, I would have slept more. I looked at my clock. Um, the very first thing I heard when I woke up, I began to praise the Lord. I always thank God when I wake up. First of all, you know, for the gift of life, and second of all, for who He is and what He's done. And I heard, I heard three words, three words: nuclear missile launch. See, now, I don't want to instill fear in anybody. That's why, you know, I'm hesitant to even release this because I'm not afraid. I, I can't make you not afraid. I can pray you're not afraid. Hebrew missile, not Hebrew. <laughs> um, that could be Rama, but nuclear missile launch. Now, do I think we're going to get hit with a nuclear missile today? No. But I think there's meaning in this because I'm going to show you in a minute. He, uh, it's just so. So she leaves. She she had to be to work early, and she left like like right almost like right after that, 6:30 a.m. She's driving into town, Sacramento, to go to work. Has a meeting, and she immediately calls me, and I was starting to fall back asleep, and I answer, and she's like, "Go out and look up." And we now keep in mind, we weren't talking about the 429 date. We weren't talking about you know nuclear missiles or anything. Uh, matter of fact, it was just gotta go, uh, got a busy day, bye type thing. Um, she didn't know I'd heard this word or uh, you know had been staring at this map for five days. I've been I've been staring at this map for five days. Asking Lord, was it me? Was it me that there's a Damascus? So she, she says, go out and look upside above Beale Air Force Base. We live about 15 minutes uh, southwest of Beale Air Force Base. She says, there's something taken off straight up out of the Air Force, and it's leaving the biggest chemtrail you've ever seen. She says, huge. So that would have been 6.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and... And she said, you, you simply won't believe how big it is. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. And we have a lot of videos of chemtrails on here. I said, all right, I'll check it out. And then she said, all right. And then she went to work. Now, I didn't really even go look at it because I, I already know there's a lot of things coming. I, I mean, I have a whole playlist of these things. And I, I know, you know. I just don't feel led to film that stuff anymore. I think I've proven my point that what's up there, but they, I have a whole playlist. It's called uh, something about uh, strange, abnormal things. Unex it's called Unexplainable Things in the Sky. It's a playlist of nighttime stuff and daytime stuff that there's no denying that that stuff's not normal, and then I just quit doing it. So, no, I didn't run out there and film that. I just took her word for it. I just, something's changed in me to where I just don't feel the need to show the world everything because I believe we're running out of time and I believe uh, people are either going to come in or they're not. And there's certain people that I'm just, 
you know, not going to play games with. You know, like I went to the store yesterday and I was trying to witness to this guy. He actually became rude to me for me witnessing to him. And I drove away just shaking my head like, man, this is the world we now find ourselves living in where just the mention of even something remotely about the Bible brings upon you hatred. That's what happened. Hatred. Man, Lord, help us. So that nuclear missile launch and her seeing that and this being the date just kind of led me to relook at the area again. Damascus, I mean, both here uh, in the United States and then here outside of the United States, Damascus. Um, I'm actually kind of glad I did because my, my Marine friend Rob was in Fallujah and I've never really looked at it too much. But I did find Fallujah on the map and I noticed, see Fallujah, that it's right next to a Highway 12, which is a 3, see it running all the way up Hadith and all this. It's a three, and here's a three, and it's a seven. Watch this. Three, one, two, plus. What's one plus two for people who make fun of me? It's three. And this is a three. You need me to show you better. This is a three. And, and then this is seven. So this seven runs quite a long way. So there's your three, three, seven, seven. The Hebrew year is actually 5773 right now. That's the Hebrew New Year. Let me show you this. I even found a Damascus Museum and their phone number is uh, uh, 73 and there's that 111 again. It's a countdown. What is the Hebrew New Year? I want, I want, there's some new subscribers a lot to my channel that doesn't don't know have any idea what I'm talking about. That I had a dream and an angel showed me the number 37 and they meant war and stuff. That we're on a different year. See, next year will be 5774. Lord, you know, Lord willing, we don't know. Um, Hebrew Jewish calendar. I think this has something to do. The current year is, look, 5773. Um, from September, wow, this is the month I had that dream, nine months ago, from September, this is deep, from September 7th, 2012 through September 4th, wow, watch this, are you guys ready for this, I was gonna, you know, this is my third attempt, I'm like, it's too long, I did a half hour one, that was full of all kinds of information, but watch this, the Hebrew year of this 773 I keep seeing ends on September 4th, 2013. Then this will become a four. Uh, I mean, this will become a four. I'm sorry. This got excited. 773. Now, now watch this. It, it, four, five, six, seven, three. That's amazing. It truly is amazing. And then here it shows the calendar and stuff. This is, it's the number seven. Tishra, where are we at? So what, this is amazing. Where's the, uh, I'm looking for this month, I'm looking for a sign. Now, some of you may be experts on this, but I'm not. Wow, that kind of took my breath away. So let's go to. Um, so she has she has a dream. This is just overwhelming. I don't know how I can ever make a quick video. Lord Jesus, help me. Please. Everything I do, do unto the world. Uh, 
unto the Lord. Look at this. Let, let, let's just finish this. Um, You know, saints, bet you anything, I just have a feeling right now. Look at, look at, I just have a weird feeling right now. Look at right here, it says 7712. That's a, that's 773 on the coordinates. And then over here it says, I all, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I've tried doing this before and I don't think it shows up on the map. It says one, one, one. Matter of fact, here's a Damascus Road. You know, if this runs an hour, I'm going to show it. I just saw a Damascus Road. You know, these things seem like a waste of time and nobody prays and then something happens and suddenly we're all amazed well because God's real and this is the gift he's given me man that's the fourth time he's showing me a jet in an airport today a fourth time let's go back to where we were so there is a Damascus in Maryland's what I'm getting at my wife has had a dream about this today's date written in the sky and I'm not date setting because I don't know what it means uh, the Lord at, at the same time without her knowing look at all these churches lined up man they have a lot of churches okay. seventh day Adventist look at all these different religions you got here's the problem with the world Catholic Church Baptist Church and Seventh Day Adventists. Why not just all just call them? You know, let's serve the Lord churches. Man, Methodists. I, I'm not into denominations. I can tell you what though. This Green Valley Road, uh, there actually is where I grew up in Fairfield, same road. So this, this is clearly a sign from God. This is clearly a sign from God. Um, so I began to research Damascus and I'll close with this I just want to make sure I just kind of got blown away a minute when I, I got this was shown some things there's a 70 um, because there's a highway 37 that like runs you know right up into this there really is um, I had a I had a vision of the fourth seal being opened at the same time she had a dream of fallen angels in a battle and 429 being written in the sky with the dash being a Hebrew symbol and I'm going to try to locate that now today we find ourselves nine months later at 429 at 1033 a.m. and this is probably run 20 minutes long with me staring at Damascus, not in the Middle East, but in the United States, in Maryland. On the same exact map that the Alabama thing happened, the Texas thing happened, God still has me on the same map. The Chicago dream happened. Yeah, that, that's on the same map. Or you don't have to pan out too much, I'll show you. You don't have to pan out too much to show where I had the dream where I was in the Chinese consulate. You just got to go right here. I was sitting right here. Overlooking Lake Michigan and there was a jet and there was a bomber and there was an earthquake satellite and there was a boom and this whole area of uh, Chicago lost power. I've made an entire series of it with five or six or seven videos. There was radiation fallout. There was an earthquake. There was power loss. And then you know what happened later? Hurricane Sandy hit. There's no denying that. That God does speak. And then, and then I pointed to London. Uh, someone, you know, did. Sh there was a bomb in London. 
Uh, you may not have seen it, but a bomb did go off. It was an explosion of natural gas, but um, there's there's more to come. And then I showed Toronto. There was a those there was a thing in Toronto. So God God's word will never ever ever return void. So now today the Lord has revealed some information to me about Damascus and these seven trumpets. Trumpet one, just follow me on this, because remember what I woke up to this morning on 429, nuclear missile launch. I don't know who wrote this website. This is what the Lord showed me. People will find fault and everything. Seven bowls, seven trumpets, the last trumpet. Okay, trumpet number one says the first angel sounded his trumpet. And there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled down upon the earth. And a third, that, that's three, right? One third. A third of the earth was burned up. A third of the trees were burned up. And all the green grass was burned up. Do you know how big of a star that would have to be for a third of all the earth to be burned up? It's Revelation 8, 7, which I think I'll read today. So let me mark that. I got a lot of stuff open to read. And now the the author here, and I like I said, I don't know who owns this page. I was just doing some. All I did was put into Google um, nuclear uh, missile launches in the Bible because that's what I heard this morning was nuclear missile launch. Clearly, clearly, clearly. The initial trumpet brings hail and fire mixed with blood. Now, you know, the first thing I thought of was Joel 2 and Acts 2, where it says blood and fire are pillars of smoke. That that's some type of explosion of some sort to that would put uh, blood mixed with fire and smoke. That has to be some type of explosion of some sort. And everything's exploding everywhere all of a sudden. This is, now, this author, whether you agree with him or not, this is a description of nuclear attacks against land-based targets. Uh, now, what is interesting is he talks about uh, launched from warships and submarines. Now, I just did a thing on the, on the USS Alabama, I think it was, where you see me and I underline ships and submarines and jets. Remember that? Because I had a prophecy that it would come by sea, air, and land. So what he's showing you is sea, air, and land. Uh, look at this, a radiological dirty bomb. A uh, radiological dirty bomb on civilians. Wow. So, yeah. And look at this, Luke 21-25. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 5 is 7. Luke 21, 25 is a 3, 7. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's see what that says. All right. Boy, I, I got to make a 5 minute video and I'm not going to apologize because. It says, and this is, do you see what I mean? How this is a 3 7? Time's short. If I don't release this video, I, 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 my, the rest of my whole day, it will bother me, so I'm sorry. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth. So it's up in heaven and on the earth, too. Distress of nations. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Okay. I don't have to look that up. Revelation 8, 3. Let's get some scripture in here, amen. Let's call this the weekly word, even on a Monday. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeking the Lord on Mondays too. It's actually 7. It says, the first angel sounded... And there follow hail and fire mingled with blood. That don't sound good, does it, saints? It's not all good news. It's not. And there were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees was burned up, and all the gra green grass was burned up. So, now there's a key right there. The grass is green. 
green grass pretty hard to burn so I believe that what we're seeing here is a nuclear weapon I, I'm not proving it I'm you know I was, so let, let's go back to I just want to get some scriptures in there that's what I woke up to nuclear missile launch now is it a supernatural missile we don't see is it some type of supernatural explosion or is it a nuclear attack I don't know everything nobody knows everything anybody claiming to know everything you should run from but it's in the Bible and it's been prophesied to many who hear from God so I began to look at this area real hard this this Damascus not overseas I've already done that locally and I was fascinated to find out some things and I'll show them to you briefly and end and pray that the Lord would bring some understanding bring some understanding to what he's trying to tell us and that how it lines up with his word I'll put a link to this Damascus is a censor designated place in unincorporated area of Montgomery County Maryland it's in the United States now just go over some quick things that it says they're presumably referencing the Damascus Syria in the Bible and then I'm going to show you some uh, their lat their latitude and longitude was three plus nine is twelve right so if you if you said that nine plus three is twelve and one plus six is seven you know how we talked about the Hebrew number five seven seven three and that I have a dream on here where angel showed me the number three seven said they meant war and the, since then they've been showing up everywhere in other people's dreams and visions too well then if you did the math that way then this would be three seven seven latitude and then longitude would be seven seven three three seven 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 three and the five one two, one two two five but let me let me show you more more things there's a 37 when it talks about households there's a 37 when it talks about families there's a five seven right there matter of fact five seven seven three let's not get too deep into the to this let me just show you some things that just can't it's just beyond coincidence beyond coincidence I want to show you things beyond coincidence remember I've been staring at this for five days the one common denominator I've noticed about this whole write-up is it's always referencing war several different wars I even looked this up too that's what you saw me looking at earlier and another war 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 a revolution um, in closing let me just show you that uh, I'll put a link so you can study this yourself that I found it amazing that they have what's called the Damascus Damascus Heritage Society which I looked up DHS and then they talk about a Damascus high school DHS matter of fact I think I will thank you Holy Spirit I'll close with that uh, which is this Damascus uh, uh, Homeland Security is their 10 year anniversary of what it says see something say something well there's that seal again and they're they're telling you to you know what you know they want us to see stuff and say stuff but they're missing everything I mean they they, they this this organization has spent billions and billions if not trillions 
and they still can't even keep track of one person it would seem let me say it like that it would seem but they want you to call 911 and be their eyes and ears when they they have billions I'd like to know what their annual budget is well I'm gonna tell you what I've seen is that the word says Jesus Christ is coming again and I and I am saying it. you know the word says that the 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 system will be put in place to try to kill Christians so let me close this out DHS let me do one more thing and then close and I would just say today is a wash day Josh did Aunt Gail call you yet uh oh got a situation happening I gotta I gotta end this something's happening with my wife that's my nephew Josh the, the one that you saw me do the wedding on here let me let me let me in obedience just end with this I'm gonna make another video let me I gotta see what's going on with my family Damascus High School the Holy Spirit just told me put that in there let's see where it is there it is pray about Saints Bethsaida Church Road I've done what the Lord has asked me today to do. I will be in prayer. My next video will give you a link to the website that my wife did for me today. New church. And um, Mount Vernon. Um, so if you have a prayer request, the next. Oh, this is what I was looking at. Look at this. This is what I stared at and stared at and stared at. Look at that. I I stared at this thing. It seems really odd to me. I, I, I don't know what it is. Honestly don't. But this is how all this started by me seeing that. Five days and asking for the Lord for revelation on what he's trying to show me about that. Do you see that? How far is that from the high school? Not far at all. Wow. Okay. I gotta go. God bless you, saints. Hopefully this didn't run too long. You see how there's no timer? I have no idea.